And now it's time for Brad versus TikTok, my daily segment where I take on the craziest ideas from the clock app. Today, this TikToker is openly bragging about being an authoritarian communist. She seems very normal and stable. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm a tanky. Oh, guys, tanky is like a derogatory term for an authoritarian communist who supports repressive authoritarian regimes. And she's like, yes, that's me. Girl, it's giving unhinged. I just cannot imagine an ideology like communism killing so many people in the 20th century and yet pe yet and yet going on the internet and being like, "Yes, that's my man." Blah. But there's so much more coming up in this video. Tanky is a silly made up word. I'm not sure who taught the liberals this word, but I want to explain something to you. The type of state that I believe in would be a bottom-up structure where the people who have been most marginalized in our current state have the most authority in the next. Okay, stop for a second. That might sound nice, giving authority to the people who didn't have it in the current system. It might sound nice at first glance, but if you actually think about it, it's kind of insane. I mean, she's openly saying she doesn't want equality. <laughs> she doesn't want an open society where everyone gets an equal shot. She just wants to do inequality in the opposite direction, basically to invert or turn upside down the historical structural oppression and imbalances and give the other people a turn to be the oppressors and oppress different groups of people. Um, How exactly does that make you different than the segregationists? And the people who opposed women's suffrage, from the people who made it illegal to be gay. I mean, you're essentially advocating for just switching around and doing something similar to different groups. You you might be the bad guy, babe. But maybe she doesn't mean anything crazy. And maybe she's actually going to turn this around and explain somehow something normal she's advocating for, right? Like, let's keep an open mind. I believe in taking away the car keys of authority and giving it to everyone else. It is far more democratic than what we have in the United States. Okay, I'm gonna let you finish, but we might need to do a little remedial lesson on what that word democratic means. Because if only some people have say over the society or the government and not others, that ain't democratic, babe. And just taking the power from one group and giving it to another, also not democratic. Your Delulu is showing. But we actually haven't even watched the craziest part of this video yet, guys. And that is what I advocate for. Authority is not inherently a bad thing. It matters who has the authority. Like, for instance, I do not believe that white people should be in the vanguard or in positions of authority. Oh? That historically and presently <sighs> has not gone well. Y'all, my expectations for TikTok are on the floor at this point, but sometimes I still hear and see things that shock me a little bit. And this was one of those things. White people should be banned from, like, being politicians or wielding power or anything because historically and currently that hasn't gone well. Babe, what? Do you hear yourself? You're literally advocating for reverse Jim Crow. It is actually demented and evil to deprive individuals of rights or opportunities because of the actions of some nebulous collective that they didn't choose to belong to. I mean, what you're saying is no different than saying, Muslims should lose their rights because a few Muslims committed an attack on society. This is the logic of the racists and the bigots, the people you think you're fighting against. And there's nothing more annoying to me than a self-hating woke white person, really. I mean, they're not going to pick you. They're still going to hate all white people, your leftist comrades. Like, this isn't going to mark you as special or different, babe. It's just not. Now, the final bit of this video is where things get actually kind of frightening. And I believe in liberation by any means necessary. You do not uh, get liberation by saying please. I hope this helps. So if this was supposed to make us more sympathetic to the tankies, it did not have that effect. 
In fact, it basically confirmed my exact suspicion that I had about these people, that they are deranged. I mean, what she says there at the end is code language, liberation by any means necessary. She's saying she supports terrorism. I'm not exaggerating. That's the kind of thing that, for example, the people who argue the October 7 attacks were justified will say, liberation by any means necessary, including slaughtering women and children and kidnapping innocent people. It's actually evil, violates kindergarten level morality of two wrongs don't make a right, and tramples all over and just rips up and throws away the teachings of actual successful social justice activists like Martin Luther King Jr., who always advocated for nonviolence and who inspired a radical social change in just decades. But this is where that extreme ideology takes you, and it's really scary and frightening stuff that is unfortunately somehow allowed to spread all over TikTok. Yet my takes, like daring to say that these are pronouns are not valid or whatever, that will get flagged and taken down as hate speech. But all this, this is totally fine. Once again, parents out there, make sure you know what your kids are watching online so they don't end up tankies on the internet. Let me know what you think of this crazy video in the comments below and do hit that like button while you're at it. Uh,